Hello everyone, Rick here and welcome to new Devlog video. For today's episode, I've decided to put together a short level so that I can show you in game all the things that I've been working on recently. First of all, I wanted to draw your attention to the background. I've worked a little bit on the colors. Now there is less contrast so that there is a better separation between the platform and the background. First thing first, as you can see here, I've added some spikes, which can hurt the player. The original Tomb Raider games are a big inspiration for me, so I had to have some spikes. They make the gameplay more fun, I believe. As we move down here, we enter this area where there is the switch that, as you can see, activates a water trap. I've been having a lot of fun combining different aspects that I already had for my game. So I had the switches, I had the water, and basically what I'm doing is that I'm stretching out the water tile whenever you activate the switch. So it effectively creates a water trap for the character, which is super cool. Also, I've been putting some spikes in it. By the way, I have infinite life so that that I can go through the level without dying. Now, as we go around, I've really tried to make an interesting level to explore. So there are different paths that you can take. I really like my levels not to be linear. So right now I'm taking a certain path, but there are actually other paths that could be taken. Now, at this point, our goal is to open this gate here. So we need to find another switch, which is going to be not far. Also, I was thinking that I may actually release this level as a 1K special. The channel has been growing um, pretty well um, over the past month. And I'm really, really grateful for your support, guys. We just broke 800 subs. So maybe for 1000 subs, I may actually make this level available. Now, as we move forward, as you can see here, we get to this point where you are blocked. See, so you have this block thingy that gets you to the temple and there are three gates that need to be open. That means you actually need to find three switches to activate those gates. Um, some are more straightforward, other ones are not that straightforward. Also here you can see in action what the new tile set looks like, the one that I showed you in a couple of videos ago, I want to say. I'm really happy with how the style set turned out. I actually like the style set better than the previous one. I think that it delivers better this idea of of jungle, of temples. Now here, if we actually want to open that bigger gate thingy, we need to go back into the water and make our way up and here you'll see a good example of a multifunctional switch. So when I activate the switch, the gate opens and the water goes down. So I have made it so that multiple actions can be done by activating one switch. So this gives me a lot of freedom in terms of what I can do with the level. Here there are a lot of spikes and it's actually pretty hard to go through. So I may have, <laughs> I may have to um, rethink this part here or maybe make a more easily understandable pattern with the spikes so that you won't die over and over. And now we actually need to put the water back because what we did is that we activated a switch which opened a smaller gate. So as we have a look at this, we have opened one gate, there are still two to go. So yeah, basically you just explore the area. You need to make sure that you actually have a look at every single inch of this map because I, I really like putting stuff all over. There are still no coins, no collectibles in this short map here, but if I actually do release it for 1k, I'll add some coins so that you can have fun collecting those. Hidden in the water, the water was one extra switch which just opened one of the three gates that we need to enter our temple and now the only thing that we've got left is to find the last one. I really like how this turned out, the fact that you actually need to switch between having water and not having water to make certain things happen. Besides that, I've also been working on optimizing the game and on fixing some bugs. Here's something that I wanted to tell you guys 
realized is that I've been using OBS for streaming the game, and what I've realized is that OBS actually has a huge impact on the FPS whenever I stream. While I'm not streaming, I am at a full 60 frames per second, but actually when I'm streaming with OBS, it gets down to 30 FPS. So I need to find a solution for that. If you know how to, please let me know because it's been a struggle for me because I really want to show you guys in the best way possible what the game looks like. It seems like I've been having some technical issues there. I'd like to be able to stream my screen and still keep the 60 FPS that I would have were I not streaming. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do you think about this short level, the spikes and the water trap? The water trap is the best thing ever. It's very satisfying for me to be able to put all of this together. I'm feeling very creative and it's awesome to see that um, things are coming up pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how the project is going so far. I feel I've got to the point where it's pretty easy for me to create a somehow complex level. Now I really getting used to having multiple switches to activate stuff and make things work. So right now the focus is on fixing some main bugs for the game and just keep on working <laughs> one feature at a time. I also wanted to thank you so so much for 20,000 views. The channel just broke 20,000 views which is amazing. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to get some more updates about the game feel free to join our discord server and also if you'd like to support the channel down below I'm going to leave the link to my Kofi page. I'd really appreciate that. And as usual, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.